Volvo is refreshing some of their models. An old Italian sports car maker says, okay, 50 years was a long enough break. We'll come back now. And the rumor mill is churning out 2014 M3 details and a 1980s BMW bitch slaps a Ferrari 458 Italia plus an idiot in an M6. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fastlane Daily. Welcome to Tuesday, guys. Yeah! Tuesday! Yeah! You gotta learn how to win. Take each step to become a champion. Hey, it's about damn time, Volvo. The rest city sedan has been rocking that same design for a bunch of years now, and the brand has finally decided to get with the times and make it, well, cooler. Yeah, Volvo announced the family sedan will get some major surgery on its face sometime next year, along with their more modern compact sedan, the S60. Also in the works, a complete redesign of the XC90, which has been in the current body style for a good long time now. The new XC90 will ride on Volvo's SPA chassis and will get a host of lighter and more powerful six-cylinder engines when it is introduced in 2014. Look at you, Volvo, flipping the script like a boss. Boss. Thank you, Mr. Ross. Always there to back me up. So you're all familiar with the Italian sports car maker Ermini, of course, so we'll just move on. Uh, so, no. No. Oh, what was that? You're not? Oh, that's right, because I haven't made a car in 50 years. Yes, after a, taking a five-decade break, the Italian automaker has released images of a new sports concept called the 686, which they hope to debut late next year. No word on what's powering the model. We assume an engine, right? Okay. okay. It will be rear-engined and likely something in the direct injection turbocharged area. A dual-clutch transmission will send the power to the rear wheels. Ermini also promises the 686 will keep up with other sports cars in the segment thanks to a light frame. The lighter is better. Looks cool. Looks like a sports car. Sure. Par for the course. As the 2014 BMW M3 gets closer to a reveal sometime next year, possibly at Geneva, We've got some new reports from the good old rumor mill. We hear that the new model will be lighter and more powerful than the predecessor. No real surprise considering it will swap the hefty V8 for a twin turbo inline six motor. That's what that means. A bit of a letdown is the power figure though. It will make less than 450 horsepower unlike previous reports, though it does gain 100 pound feet of torque. It should also shed off about, it sounds like I said <laughs> It should also shed off about 300 pounds from the current M3's belt line. Regardless of the reported numbers, we can be sure BMW isn't making a lemon of an M3. Props to worldcarfans.com for the spa shots. Yeah, well, the video just puts a smile on my face. And when I say the video, I mean this one. When a Ferrari 458 Italia driver thinks he can own almost anything on the road in a drag race, he becomes a perfect target for something like, oh, I don't know, how about a compact and unassuming E30 M3? A modified E30 BMW M3, of course. Well, let's just see what happens next. Yes, as you can see, he just beast moded that prancing horse. Indeed. <laughs> All right, let's look at a not bright person doing something dumb. A dumbass, if you will. But it's not Dumbass Tuesday. It's gonna be called something else. Check out this guy in a matte black BMW M6, spinning his tires and then, bam, right into a minivan and hits a guy on a bike. My favorite part is when people actually start clapping after the cocky moron crashed his well over $100,000 car. Yeah, just puts a smile on my face. See people that think they're all big and bad do something stupid. And for both those videos I just talked about, that link, those links are in the description. All right. That will do it for Fastlane Daily today. <clears throat> Excuse my voice a little bit. I'm Derek D. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Okay, you can like us on Facebook as well and subscribe on YouTube because we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So get us there quicker. Thank you in advance. Also, you can watch on iTunes and get yourself a T-shirt. Plus, I did it in reverse. Instagram. Fastlane Daily is our username. So uh, that's how it goes, folks. And I will talk to you tomorrow.
Hey, it's about damn time, Volvo. The S60, nope. The new X6090, what am I saying? <laughs> With their more modern compact sedan, the S60. Wait. So you're all familiar with the Italian sports car maker, Ermini, of course, right? Sure. So we'll just move on. Wait, what was that? You, oh wait. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.